Hey folks, Dan from DNN Custom Creations. Got a real short video for you today on the uh, Langmire Plasma Cutter. I had a little problem where the Z axis, I noticed that the torch was jerking as it went down. It seemed to be pretty smooth as it went up, but it was jerking as it went down. I thought, well, maybe you got bearing problems or whatever. Turned out that the coupling on the uh, motor was a little bit loose. It only showed up on the down, uh, but uh, it was loose. Unfortunately, the uh, one of the coupling screws that tightens it was stripped. So I uh, talked to Langmeyer. They uh, uh, offered to send me one, and so I'm now going to uh, show you how to replace that. It's real easy. <clears throat> but uh, if you ever notice uh, your uh, Z axis. Um, not smooth, obviously check the bearings, that sort of thing, but then you might want to check uh, and make sure the coupling's not slipping on the uh, stepper motor. So I'm going to take you over here and we'll take a look at it. <clears throat> okay, so we're uh, looking at the Z-axis now and I uh, want to point out a couple of things. Notice that the coupler got four little screws. That must be uh, fairly a critical because on our uh, X and Y, uh, there are just, on each coupler, there are just two screws. Now they're much larger, so perhaps it has the same holding power. But regardless, the, um, there are four small, that's a number two millimeter uh, wrench to, uh, to take those loose. And it turned out that one of the screws was actually stripped. I think it's this one right here. Uh, you can see I can just turn that you know, and, and never tighten. And it was like that, so when I tried to tighten it, uh, it um, I managed to get the second one down and it did uh, fix the problem, but it was, I think, temporary. Because I noticed that the, um, the, the Z axis, when my torch height control was moving, even a straight line, it was kind of hopping, uh, it was hunting as if it was trying to find uh, the right location. <clears throat> I watched my voltage, and my voltage was up and down, up and down. Uh, and it turned out, because the height was changing so uh, much as it went across in a straight line, that it wound up with a kind of a wavy cut. So I'm <clears throat> suspecting that the coupler was still slipping. Uh, so anyway, a Langmeyer sent me a new coupling, and we're going to replace that in uh, see if that solves our problem. So, <clears throat> uh, the first thing I want to do, I'll just uh, undo each of the four screws. One that's being that's stripped probably doesn't make much difference anyway. Yeah, that's the one that's stripped, so it's pretty easy to turn. Taken the torch off and lowered uh, the Z is uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's almost down at the bottom because it gives you access uh, to this area in here because it's a little bit tight otherwise. And the one up top is the hardest one to get to. Pretty tight, but that might be able. Well, it's spinning on a shaft, so obviously it's a it's loose. All right, so the coupler is now loose, and now we'll take the uh, motor off.
And there we have the, oops, sorry. There is our Z coupling, uh, just plastic. So I'm going to put the new coupling on it. Uh, I notice there's some oil and so forth on the shaft. That probably uh, doesn't help you know, give it the grip. So I'm gonna clean that off real good on, the, on both the motor shaft and the uh, lead screw here shaft. And I will put the coupler back on and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. I'll bring you back once we're up. Okay, uh, I've got the coupler on, the motor back on, <coughs> and I've tightened the screws. One thing that um, was a little bit uh, worrying is knowing how much torque to put on those screws uh, before you get to the same problem that it had before where it had a strip screw in it. Uh, this is a, a plastic piece so I'm you and there's not a lot of thread contact uh, in there so I was a bit worried um, that it just doesn't have a lot of thread contact. So I was a bit worried when I was tightening it down, but uh, <clears throat> I tried to uh, make them all the same. And what I basically tried to do is tighten it until it gripped. I could you know, try and turn the lead screw and, and tell when it finally gripped. And then uh, you know, turned it about another one turn past that. We'll see what happens when um, I get this thing up and running, okay? Okay, I got the torch back on and uh, everything seems to be working pretty good. <clears throat> nice and smooth on the way up, nice and smooth on the way down. So I'm uh, hoping that solves the problem. I will, uh, I don't have anything to cut out right now, but uh, <clears throat> obviously if it doesn't solve the problem, I'll make a video <laughs> as we figure out what the problem might be but uh, I'm hoping that this will take care of it. So that's how you change the Z coupling. If you ever notice that the, um, it's not smooth, either going up or down, and you, know, you might obviously first try and tighten that coupling, uh, but if it's like mine and one of the screws is stripped, then uh, you might have to get another one. Okay, all right, thanks. I'll talk to you later, D uh, DNN Custom Creations.